in these anti buildings, I think we need places like tree training centres and stuff. Community spaces for us all to be together. We will need a foot and vegetable shop just like Quitten's on the Lisbon Road. Community cafe. A butcher's. An expansion of the gym. A bakery. Local manufacturing. Redbrick Belfast is about connecting the community of the village area of South Belfast with its red brick heritage and exploring ways of harnessing that to regenerate the area. The project is led by Community Arts Partnership in partnership with the Greater Village Regeneration Trust. We've been working with a group of young men and some older women coming together using the arts to explore the red brick heritage, particularly empty places like some of the factories and the terraced housing. These spaces have huge potential in terms of both job creation, growing traditional skills and regenerating the area. So there is a significant number of derelict properties in the area, um, not just empty factories but homes that are lying vacant that could be used. I've joined it because I'm interested in where we all originated from, how the red brick originated, why it's actually so valuable and why the houses were of a better quality. I'm expecting from the project to be able to access the red brick buildings for some sort of scheme for the community, for the kids and maybe for the older people as well. They like renovate the buildings and to make something that's derelict look nice. And we've all been here and witnessed the area fall apart and we all want to like come together as a group and help liven the building up a bit. Well I like to see them getting Making, well, doing something with them instead of just standing there with nothing in them. We've been using a whole range of arts-based activities, looking at historic maps of the city. We've been working with uh, photography, videography skills, uh, working with ceramic artists, archaeologists and conservation architects. The group has been learning about traditional building skills, repairing um, some brickwork in the north of the city and developing their own bricks for the community garden. But all of it is about trying to reconnect the people with the proud red brick heritage of this part of Belfast and of this building block of the city as a whole. It's been all the creative part, it's been very good and you've, you, you're, you get the, you create whatever you wanted to. I'd actually love to be an architect to be honest. We're in one of the derelict buildings, the factories on the Donegal Road. I pass it daily but I never realised how well, how well it looked inside. I've lived on the Donegal Road for 50 years. I worked in a factory, something like this. I was really surprised at the standard the place is, seeing it's been empty so long. We could be used for loads of things, to be truthful. Well, it's really good to work with the seniors because they can help me. They obviously have a lot more knowledge and history because they lived in them houses. Today we were asked to uh, come to the Old Park Library in Belfast, uh, part of the Red Brick project. All the young lads were really were getting stuck in and, and really wanted to get involved. Done a bit of bricklaying down at Belfast Melfer when worked on a few work sites, one down the Linfield Road, one down the Dublin Road. So we make changes in my area, I probably get involved so we're no like to see the difference. Probably like to see some of the buildings get done up a bit more, we'll get the park refurbished, more done for the kids and stuff. All they need is a chance in life. They really, they have the hands-on approach and they're not one bit scared to get stuck in and do a bit of work. I say a lot of these guys wouldn't have been around whenever said skills were being used to develop bricks and mow bricks. Um, so it gives them a good insight and I think it's good for them to know how it was made and even better for them to have a dig hands-on. I think it sort of revives a lot of skills that have been lost to history. Well this is a small project but we think it has big ideas about exploiting the distinctiveness of the city's fabric. Looking at the potential of young men and the potential of old buildings, bringing those together to regenerate the city in a really interesting sustainable way. Through the Red Brick project I've learned the importance of old buildings and why they should be refurbished and kept and you know, keep the history of the area but it's part of our cultural identity and our history and if they were took away we wouldn't really have that anymore. 
I just want to maybe pick my ideas and hopefully, I don't know, but hopefully my ideas can bring something to the community and could turn something, one of the buildings into something that we could all use and use to our advantage.